What's going on guys? Welcome to Fancy Smack Talk. I'm Dustin sitting here with Nameco, heading into week seven of Fancy Baseball. Let's take a look at the waiver wire and we start with a couple relief pitchers. Now we start with Alfredo Simone out there at the Orioles. He's now the closer. So far so good. Only on 30% of leagues. Go ahead and pick him up if he's available. Just see what he can do for the rest of the season. Next we got Matt Thornton out there at the White Sox. Not the closer yet. But he's only on 65% of the leagues. You might want to pick him up because it's probably just a matter of time before he takes over for Jinx. He's on the hot seat. Probably getting the probably getting pulled here pretty soon. And I'm going to talk about three guys. And at this point in the season, you can actually start putting some stock into the 2010 numbers. And that's Brett Gardner, Scott Pesednik, and Chase Healy. They're all owned in about 70% of the leagues. Right now, they're all batting for average. And Gardner and Pesednik are certainly going to get you some bags. If you have a roster spot available and you're looking for some help, these might be decent ads for you. And next, we got a couple of youngsters for you. We start with Starlin Castro out there with the Cubs. Only on 15% of the leagues right now. But everyone just seems to be drooling all over this rookie. Six RBIs in his first game, but only 14 at bats so far, so it's a small sampling pool. Just remember, fancy baseball rookies rarely have a huge fancy impact, so don't drop any proven players to pick this guy up. But if you have a free roster spot, not a bad gamble. Same with David Fries, only on a 55% of leagues. Now he has more at bats so far this season, and he's proven he can bat for average and power, so we like Fries a little bit more. But again, don't drop any proven players for him, but we do think he has a good upside. All right, let's get into a little buy low, sell high. We're gonna start with a few buy low guys. I got three hitters for you who are pretty good utility guys. I can give you pretty much all around numbers that are off to terrible starts. We got BJ and Justin Upton and Figgins. All three of these guys, terrible starts, but if you can get them cheap, we think it's a great move for you. And I got two pitchers for you. The first one's Josh Beckett. I know he's been abysmal this year, but you can get him really cheap. We're not saying he's going to be an elite pitcher, but he could be a serviceable one for your team in the future. And a pitcher that everyone should be targeting right now is Felix Hernandez. Coming off a great season last year, he's had a couple rough outings. If you need starting pitching at all, put together a package and make a deal. Get Felix on your team. All right, now let's take a look at our guys that we're selling high. Selling high. Let me start with two guys that are playing absolutely out of their gourds right now and Andre Ethier and Jimenez. These guys' value is so huge right now. Now we do think they could have really good seasons this year, but we doubt their value will ever be higher than it is right now. Go ahead, out, put them out there and see what you can get for them. And I'm going to talk about two recognizable names in Vlad Guerrero and Paul Konerko. They're both off to really hot starts. Doubt they're going to keep it up for a full season. Get them off your team now and get something good in return. Yeah, get them off before they get hurt. And now we got a couple of rookies for you in Austin Jackson and Hayward. Now, again, we like these guys upside. We think they could have a decent season, but they're rookies. More than likely, they're going to have slumps at some point this season. We doubt their value will ever be higher than it is right now. Go ahead and see what you can get for them. All right, let's get into a couple form questions. First one comes from Why Can't It Be 1983? He has Rajah Davis on his team. Brett Gardner's on the waiver wire. Does he make the switch? I mean, this is a simple answer. I just say go ahead and, and pull the trigger on this. They're both young guys, both speed, and Gardner's playing better. Why not take the guy that's playing well right now? All right, Dustin, this question stems from Serrano50. He's going to be dropping Brian Madison. He wants to know... Should he pick up Dallas Braden, CJ Wilson, Jamie Garcia, or Kevin Gregg, all available on his waiver wire? Well, if you'd all need a closer, we say just go ahead and get Gregg's off to a great start, and we think there's a good chance he can keep it up. But if you need a starter, you know, Braden and Garcia are definitely off to great starts this year, but we expect them to probably be pretty inconsistent throughout the year. We actually like CJ Wilson out of this group. We think he has a better chance of being a more consistent pitcher, he has more experience. And who knows, could have a really great season this year. That's it for this week's show. As always, get into our forums if you've got any questions. I'm Dustin, this is Brent. We'll see you next week.